Getting the sweaters out, and you know, do we have to keep them for Monday? Absolutely, Daniel. We have an obviously cold day tomorrow, and unfortunately, those temperatures are dropping right now. But the good news is, we also have an obviously warm day coming in the middle of this we'll week. We'll take it, and we need that, especially <laughs> the wintertime weather that we have. But before changes in the weather pattern again come Tuesday and Wednesday. So for tomorrow, I recommend you get one of these: a nice heavy sweater or jacket, because it's going to be pretty cold outside. The jacket, the hat, the gloves, your boots, even a warm cup of coffee in the morning, because what we have is some rain and snow showers right now. And that could also lead to a pretty slippery morning commute there on your Monday. Now the temperature is falling below freezing later tonight around freezing. Right now we're in the upper 30s, but that's going to change. There could be some slick spots on those elevated roads, the bridges and overpasses. Now for the afternoon and evening, the commute looks a little bit better as we get back to rain and some cloud cover. But the concern comes with dropping temperatures at night. Monday night into Tuesday also looking a little bit slippery before a pretty nice day coming this week. Here's a look at the radar and satellite. Some rain showers starting to turn to snow. You see some colors here. We're getting a few snowflakes out there in the radar. Also up into Ohio, some snow showers right now. And this is starting to change over. In the higher elevations, that's where things will begin first. Then from the north to south, we expect more snow to fill in this map through tonight and into tomorrow morning. Low pressure is our driving force here. This is starting to make its way just south of our viewing area. And then into the Dakotas, there is a cold front back into the middle of the country. Later this week, that will approach us and that will give us the opportunity for cold weather later on, even some snow again later on in the week on Thursday into Friday. So for tomorrow on your Monday, the winds will be blowing pretty good. We'll have a wind chill of the upper 20s, which means that's about 10 degrees colder than the air temperature. Starting off with rain and snow, mixing with rain around lunchtime, and then ending in the early afternoon. It will not be snowing the entire day, but definitely cloud cover is the theme for the day tomorrow. And through tonight, a slick morning is expected. Starting off with rain showers that we've been having for a little bit the past couple hours, becoming snow before sunrise with westerly winds in play, which will pick up throughout the night tonight. Let's time it out on the future cast again in the eastern mountains through the morning. Still a good amount of snow. Some showers will start to fill in through the early morning here into Charleston. More pop up there around lunchtime and at four o'clock in the afternoon. Things become a little bit more cloudy. Temperatures in the 30s with westerly winds. Now for Tuesday. Notice the temperature starting to drop to around and below freezing to start the day. Could be a little bit slippery there as well because any rain or snow that falls and melts and then refreezes again, we could be dealing with a slippery morning commute again for Tuesday. But the afternoon looking pretty good. We get into the 40s. There will be some sunshine there as well. It won't be completely cloudy like the model says, but notice on Wednesday, we start with a mix of rain and snow Wednesday morning. A warm front makes its way northward and then back by Cincinnati, a cold front through the afternoon. That could give us the opportunity for some snow showers on the evening of Thursday into Friday. And those chances are starting to increase as well, starting to increase for some more snow later on this week. Now for tomorrow, we don't expect a whole lot, maybe a coating to less than an inch here in Charleston in the lower elevations. In the higher mountains, we could have a little bit more, but then notice for Thursday, especially during the day Thursday into Friday, a good one to two inches of snow cover is possible here on the map with the highest totals there in the eastern mountains. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast and it will again be windy through the middle of the week before Friday. A late snow shower at night is still possible, especially in the mountains. More normal for next weekend, mostly cloudy on Saturday and Sunday with the snow shower there and temperatures in the 40s.